All right, let's take a look at an open center hydraulic system. So if we start at the reservoir, we see from our reservoir, it's gonna come up, be drawn in, and I'm gonna start with our implement pump. And we're just gonna take a look at the loader circuit. And so these are our loader cylinders up here for our auxiliary, our bucket lift, and our bucket tilt. So if we take a look at this pump flow, it comes out it's going to come up this line. There's a lot going on in the schematic, but we're just going to focus on one thing at a time. Okay, it's going to come up, come into our directional control valve. Now, this is our entire valve assembly. We can see it's in the long, dash, dash, long, dash, dash, long. So that tells us it's one block assembly. It actually says there's two that are bolted together. So as we look at our oil flow, we're going to see it coming in, going through the valves. And at this point right here, what we see is that the shape or the line style that's used in this diagram has changed. And when it goes from a solid line to a dash line, what it's saying is that it's now return oil. So at this point right here, it's no longer doing any more work. It's now coming down. over and back into our reservoir. Of course, this has got to make a connection. And so what we see is that the green side would be our pressure side where any work could be done with it. But then once it leaves the block, it's going to go back to the reservoir with very low pressure. Okay, so that's our return line. And if you wanted to know how did I know which direction to go as soon as I got to about here, it really is about looking at that moment saying, okay, stop a second, what's upstream from it? And if I stop at that moment right there and I look at what's upstream, I see there's a pressure control valve that's upstream sensed and it's got a downstream out to the drain. And so then that tells me that that's a relief valve right there. And so the drain of the relief is going to go back to tank. So I know the direction of flow is going to go this way. And then I'm always going to be looking at following the schematic from the place of greater potential to lower potential. And the reservoir is always our lowest place of potential. So we're always trying to move from a place of potential to no potential. So in other words, follow the path back to reservoir. Okay, now that we've followed the path all the way through the directional control valve, I just want to follow this again one more time and just sort of explain that it comes into the pump, out of the pump, into the directional control valve, is able to go through each of the spools and return back to tank. So you see it's one continuous loop into the pump, out of the pump, through the valve, return back to tank. This is what happens when there's no operation happening on the pilot controls which are all down here so these pilot controls get stroked direct the pilot oil that's coming into this pressure reducing manifold up into either side of the spool valves themselves but none of that is happening and so it's just in its center condition coming up through the spools and going right back to tank that is what it means to be open center